first giving honor to God. I stand before you all so hurt and shocked by Bernie's death, so I can't even begin to imagine the hurt that Rhonda, Janice, and all of Bernie's extended family are feeling right now. So now I'd like to extend my deepest and most heartfelt condolences to them. I feel so honored being able to speak in front of you all today and be able to speak about the man I knew on such a personal level. To me, Bernie was much more than just a TV uncle, but also a mentor and a person that I truly admired and looked up to and was one of the greatest role models I've had this far in my life. I thought the next time I'd be talking about Bernie for a crowd, it'd be for a roast, not a eulogy. The world has lost a great comic, but the people who knew him personally lost a friend, a mentor, and a person who was so warm you couldn't help but feel connected to him from the moment you met him. Bernie had nicknames for everybody on set. He called me, I was his Don Knotts, like his right-hand man. He had Camille, his quiet storm. Dee Dee was his baby girl. I mean, Bernie, working with Bernie wasn't like going to work. It was like going to school for comedy because every day he had tips to make you better. Bernie Mac was the embodiment of professionalism, kindness, and generosity, who never missed a birthday, uh, or who never missed a birthday even after the show ended. Wherever he was, he made sure to keep in touch, and he truly made, like, made you feel like you weren't just a co-star, but a part of the family. Everyone who heard Bernie knew he was funny. Everyone who was near Bernie felt drawn to him. And everyone who knew Bernie loved him. Bernie, I just want to tell the world how much you meant to me and all the cast, and you'll be forever missed. Thank you. God bless. Peace, got it. Whatever the